good morning my darlings so i am starting today's vlog with preparing my home and i will be scenting my house with lots of perfumes perfect for autumn so i bought this beautiful it's one of my favorites i bought this reed diffuser from the white company and this has notes of pear quince and i think some amber in here as well it's really beautiful for the autumn so i'm just setting up my house this is my cozy hygge video for you guys and i like to do this every year where i prepare my home for autumn and it's something that i do it's a bit of a tradition for me and every year it's almost like doing spring cleaning but in reverse and this is my hygge style cleaning and getting my house prepared for the autumn and for the winter as well actually yeah so i like to do a bit of a deep cleanse to make my home more you know beautiful to make my home elegant and cozy at the same time and um i'm starting off with filling my house with perfumes that suit the time and the season i've gone for this reed diffuser which is my autumn reed diffuser and i just love this scent it actually just smells like perfume and i just love the amber notes in here oops so, <laughs> so rattly i really do love the amber notes in here with the pear it's just so beautiful um even for my bedroom as well and the bathroom i like to change the hand washers for the bathroom and at the moment currently i've got this manoi oil i'm going to change excuse the hair guys <laughs> um yeah so i'm going to change all my hand washes and everything and to be honest i'm going to be changing my hand washes twice now this year because i've got my autumn collection and i'm going to change it in december or maybe late november so that's like my festive um fragrances um so yeah i'm gonna have like a double change so i'm gonna be going through a lot of products right now um, but yes, I've got this. I'm going to set this up and um, yeah, let's let's just get started. <laughs> All right, my darlings. So in today's vlog, I want to go through a few standard Hygge essentials. And the first one is I've gone through my fragrances, but this time now I want to show you teas. And guys, you know, I love tea. I'm a tea lover, tea drinker. And it's always so important for me when hosting to have the right tea for the right season. And seeing as we're in fall, I think now, you know, we're drinking a lot more black tea. So I just wanted to share with you some teas I think are quite suitable. This is my Empire Blend by Harrods. And this is a mixture of Assam and Darjeeling. And Darjeeling is one of my favourite black teas. Um, but I'm going to talk about that after. But this one's really nice as a breakfast tea. And if you're serving your guests for breakfast, then I think this is really nice too use it's quite floral it's a strong brew but it's delicate with the floral notes in here so that's the empire blend and then another tea i think is quite nice for either breakfast or for the afternoons it's this one and guys i do love this tea this is my fort mason and this is by fortnum and masons and this is a black tea with neroli and if any of you guys are my perfume lovers that's been watching me here on my channel you know all about neroli neroli is like an orange blossom note it is a <laughs> what's that i don't really know what that is silly silly <laughs> um yeah so anyway um so neroli adds this sort of delicate floral orange twist to it this has a depth of the black tea but then it's softened with this bright citrus note it's very aromatic and gorgeous it's a lovely tea and let's just see here so this one you can enjoy without milk actually this is quite nice as a breakfast tea i like to serve this more as a afternoon blend but um i like this as like i had it this morning for breakfast and i did use milk with this one so that's what mason as the perfect afternoon tea it would have to be this one here and this is my darjeeling tea and this is by galerie de terre and this is a black tea but this is for i love to serve this for guests who like a black tea but they want something that is delicate and not too heavy this is just so refined guys it's like a beautiful tea it's almost like a champagne and i do love it so that's something i normally serve the fun fact is the first flush is the most premium tea that you could ever serve to your guests so yeah keep that in mind <laughs> so anyway guys um also for the kitchen i just bought a few little essentials as well I've got some white tea towels here and this is just 
um, to polish and you know just to dry like glassware so you don't ha end up with those you know smears on the glass so I just bought one of those as well this is from the white company obviously um, during the autumn I'm at home more and drinking a lot more tea and entertaining more everyone comes to your house and stuff so it's quite nice and um, I do find dishes like therapeutic I don't know if any of you guys are like that but I actually prefer to wash the dishes by hand I just find it calming and relaxing I have no problem whatsoever washing dishes and um, the pots I'll leave that for must be a love to do why are we doing the pots but <laughs> that can go in the dishwasher but I do enjoy entertaining and serving my guests and things like that so yeah um so now I wanted to share a dessert with you guys. I thought that'd be a really nice way to start my whole huga. And it's something that I really do believe in and it's something that I practice. I don't think it was something I knew about before until I visited Denmark. Oh my goodness me, I love, I love Denmark so much. Um, it's just so beautiful and I haven't been for a little while now. So I need to plan a trip to head back. Um, maybe spend some more time in Copenhagen for sure um, but yeah I really do miss it so much so I'm looking forward to planning a trip to head back to Denmark but I have a really nice recipe and I think it's really nice and cozy something that you can enjoy in front of the tv watching Netflix or prepare it for your love so I'm going to go ahead I'm going to change out of this um, out of these clothes before I, I start cooking and um, yeah, I wanted to talk to you guys also about layering your clothes for autumn. So I'm gonna go through that as well. And um, this is like one of the layers that I have now. So let me get changed. Let me share that video with you. And then I need to actually head out before, I need to head out and do some groceries. So I'll probably take you guys grocery shopping with me as well. So yeah, that's uh, my very first vlog guys. So yes. Um, let's talk about layering now. So now that we're in autumn guys, it's like I do not like to be cold. <laughs> so it's all about layering for me and um, I wanted to share some tips with you on pieces that I wear underneath my clothing. So I have a few different types of garments here that I thought would be quite useful for you guys to try out and um, I'm going to share them with you. So I'm going to start off with this one first. Now this is my thermal by Marks and Spencers and this is a thermal that I normally wear every single, usually during the winter actually, winter and autumn and I really love this thermal, it's so soft and this is just such a great addition for layering and I normally wear something like this underneath a jumper, so maybe like a long sleeve jumper or a cable knit or even like a roll neck top, I would wear something like this underneath. So I went ahead and bought another one in black and this is a size eight that I bought. So let me show you the other one that I have. So like what I'm wearing today, if I'm wearing like a light jumper, I would wear this shade underneath, so more like a neutral shade. And um, this is just extremely soft. So let me just show you this here. If you can see the texture, can you see it's almost like a, a velvety, smooth, fleecy texture. It's so soft, it's really powdery and soft. And I really like, I really find this comfortable. This is a long sleeved version and this is like a scoop neck as well, like that. So it's quite nice if you're wearing a low cut jumper as well so you can wear this underneath and um, this here I bought as a size 8 and in clothing I'm normally size 6 to size 8 and I find this quite tight on the skin maybe you might want to size up in this perhaps if you don't want something that's extremely tight it depends on how many layers you are wearing I am a sort of person when it comes to clothing I don't like anything that's too tight I'm more of a flowy type of person I like flowy dresses flowy skirts I love wearing skirts the only thing that stops me from wearing a skirt is the fact that it's cold <laughs> and I live in a cold country and um, so I tend not to wear skirts as much but if I had a choice I would wear skirts and dresses every day so I like to layer up on these thermal to keep myself nice and warm. I really like this colour actually. It's like a like a toasted crumpet. I don't know. <laughs> this colour is quite nice. And also just to add a little bit of background information on my thermals here. So this is actually designed with Heat Gen Plus. It says it is 
brushed on the inside to keep you extra warm when the weather gets chilly and like I showed you it's like a super soft layer inside and it's almost not velvety but almost like a velvety smooth sort of fleecy material on the inside and it's just really soft and stretchy. The next item I have is my cashmere vest. Now cashmere is something I like to wear underneath clothing to keep me nice and warm and this is by Intimacy and this is like a long line vest and it's so super soft guys it's really lovely I like the colour as well it's like an ivory soft um, neutral shade and um, it's really nice this is in a size small I tend not to wear anything too thick and my tip for you guys is to go lighter on your layers that way it's buildable in heavy clothing I become so uncomfortable and for me, I can't wear, this is going to sound ridiculous, or maybe not, because if you guys are like me, then just please let me know. Um, but I feel like it's so hard for me to carry heavy layers. I find it very hard for me to carry thick, heavy, like layers of jumpers or jeans and things like that. And then a jacket and a scarf, I feel a bit claustrophobic. So I like things that's a bit flowy, elegant and feminine. So I like to pair lots of thin layers together to build up to that layer and then this way you're trapping lots more air by every single layer and that is really holding in and locking in that heat. Cashmere is great for doing so as well. Also the neckline is quite deep as well. You can see it's sort of like a deep neckline. I tend to wear like more v-neck jumpers or like a low round neck. I'm a big fan of like a boat neck style. So then something like this would suit if I'm wearing something with a deeper neckline. The next layer I have for you here, this is my long sleeved cashmere. It just gives you an extra feminine boost and I just really love that. So this one is trimmed with lace and this is great if you're wearing like a roll neck top or like a thick cable knit top as well and um, with a high neckline then you can wear something like this because you're not going to see the lace however if you're going to layer this with something thin then you might have the lace come through so i would wear this more with a chunkier knit that's a little bit loose because this has a um long sleeve design i also bought this from intimacy as well and this is a beautiful dusky rose color it's ever so soft so comforting and this is something that if you wanted to you could wear this as a layer as a part of your thermal build-up or you could just wear this in the house as well as a casual sort of like lounge wear or you can wear this to sleep it it's entirely up to you it's a bit more flexible as to how you want to wear this it's totally your choice usually for myself I spend a lot of time in the countryside and we spend a lot of time outside and we might go to like a nearby pub and sit outdoors and um, I just want to wear something that is cozy and warm so I would wear something like this and I just think the color is so beautiful I love this color this piece was a little bit pricier than the other piece I bought from Intimacy. This is about £40 and of course it's trimmed with lace and it is long sleeve and it is quite flexible but again you are investing in the piece that you can wear time and time again so I do love it for that. So that's my other piece there. And this here is another silk top that I have. This is a camisole top that I bought from Intimacy as well. This is a size small, I believe. And um, this silk top is, I think I paid about 49 pounds for this one. And this one I just like as an extra layer. So I'm going to add another layer over this before I head out. So that's one layer of silk. So the next item I have is a silk item here. And this is a really beautiful ivory color vest as well. And it is trimmed with lace in the back. So you might feel like this gives you the impression that it's a little bit bridal, but it's just all about your style and what you like. And for me, I try to add a little bit of a feminine touch in anything that I can wherever possible. You're wearing a heavy cable knit jumper and you just want that elegance. At least you know you've got that feminine lace underneath. It just makes all the difference, guys. Like even if you just change up your garments, your undergarments, and add a feminine touch with some silk and lace, you just feel that extra feminine boost. So adding silk as a layer adds that touch of elegance, it adds movement, and it's very light and easy to wear. This is something I'm happy to wear 
probably more so now like october november i'll be wearing more silk underneath my garments and um, i just love this flowy look again this is versatile it's entirely up to you how you choose to wear this but i do like to wear this more as an undergarment opposed to sleeping in but it's entirely up to you so i choose this as an additional layer as my silk out to the grocery store now and as you can see it is <laughs> in the evening now it's definitely quite late um actually it's not even that late so so guys this was not my plan my plan was to head out grocery shopping so much earlier but i just got so caught up with everything i was doing at home and um i just didn't want to stop and i'm that sort of person once i keep going i can't really stop i must finish so yes, I'm just heading to the grocery store now to pick up a few bits and then I'm going to head back home. So I think in tomorrow's vlog, I've got a recipe to share with you. So it's a nice cozy dish for the autumn. And um, yeah, so I'll take you guys shopping with me quickly. Can't believe how dark it is. I don't even think it's seven o'clock as yet. So yes, let me take you with me. So my darlings, I have a really nice um, dish that I'd like to share with you guys for the autumn. <laughs> I think you're gonna like this one. It's just absolutely perfect for a cozy night in. So I'm gonna pick up all the groceries that I need, and um, yeah, I'm gonna share it with you guys very soon. So let's go shopping. <laughs> that they have apples, they have pears, they have cherries, which is not in season right now, but um, I have pears here that I'm going to cook. So we've got one of the pears here, and I have about three. I might just cook only two anyway, because I don't want to cook too much, and I'm heading out as well. So um, I have another one here. <laughs> Look at the shape of this one. So I'm going to serve the pears. I'm going to poach them with maybe some spices and a sugared syrup, and then I am going to make a cream. Haven't quite decided the flavor of cream. It might just be vanilla, or I was thinking because of rose, I love rose, I might make a rose cream and share that with you guys. So um, let's get everything started. Actually, I bought this spatula. It's a new spatula that I bought. So I might be using this as well. I need to take, just need to take the wrapper off this one. But I've got a few from this collection. The only thing is the colours. I've got them in red, which I just want a neutral colour. They do have these in grey, I believe. Um, but I haven't seen, they don't have the full range in grey, so I hope they release some new spatulas anyway. So let me make this dessert for you guys. I'm going to peel these pears now and wash them, get them ready. I only have one with the actual, um, what do you call this, the stalk, I think? I'm not sure, but... I only have one. Oh, there's a little bruise here. Maybe it fell off the tree. Um, so yes, yeah, so I only have one on that side and then this one doesn't have, but it's quite nice for presentation, but it's okay, it's fine. So I'm gonna prepare those now. guys there's my my pudding taking it off the stove so you can see all the steam coming through um, and this is a pudding I like to enjoy warm so I'm going to let this cool and I'm going to enjoy this so here we have the rose and cardamom cream and I just decorated it with a little rosebud there so I'm going to enjoy that now with a cup of tea guys I can't wait to tuck into this mm, this looks so lovely 
I can smell the rose water, the cardamom. Guys, it's beautiful. So I'm going to enjoy this and I'll see you.